Okay, so I don't know where my package is, and this is worrying me. I've been walking up and down the complex looking to see if it were, was placed at other people's doors, and I've not found it. I only looked in the first couple of floors and then the apartment directly above me just to see if maybe they had the floor wrong, and I can't find it anywhere, so that's great because this is expensive and I don't know where it could be and I've wasted a lot of my time trying to search for it around the complex. So hopefully I will get some answers from Amazon. So I'll keep you updated. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Matthew. For those of you who might be dropping in for the first time, I appreciate you stopping by to watch my video. You're probably wondering what you just saw. So there was a big fiasco. Okay, not so much a big fiasco. I don't want to be dramatic right off the bat. That's a bad first impression. But I was getting so upset because I had ordered this light. It's expensive, took a long time to get here, and then I got this notification that said it was delivered. So I was like, oh, this is awesome. Once I got the notification, I was like, oh, it's at the door and it was not there. I go to the mailbox and of course, I'm not expecting the package in the mailbox. I don't want you guys to be like, okay, Matthew, let's get real. It wasn't gonna be, in. but I was expecting, first of all, to be a key for the locker because we do have lockers for larger packages. Was not there. We had issues with people stealing packages in our complex. So I was thinking that it potentially was delivered to my door and stolen. So I ended up contacting Amazon. They told me that it was accidentally scanned as delivered. And so they credited me $5 onto my Amazon account, which I thought was actually really nice. And I wasn't throwing a hissy fit. I was just being kind. So kindness goes a long way. Who knew? But it is here, so no worries. We're gonna get this review out of the way. And you might be like, Matthew, you haven't done an unboxing or a review type video in a while. And you're right. But I can at least say I hold the record for the worst unboxing video on YouTube. And so bad, in fact, that that is what I titled it. One of my first unboxing videos and it was whenever I was having issues with my old camera and it was so blurry, it looked so bad. I did finally fix it in the video, so the whole video is not blurry, but I was so mad because I had already gotten so far into the unboxing and I didn't realize that it was that blurry the entire time. So I was like, I need to redeem myself with this one. My very first unboxing video was with the ring light that I'm actually using right now, which has been great. And I wanted to do the reviews of the lights whenever it's dark. I have seen so many YouTubers do light reviews, like studio lighting and things like that, and it's daytime in their room. And I'm like, this makes no sense. Like you need to be able to compare it to absolutely nothing. Cause that can be a little misleading when you have daylight coming into your room and also the light from whatever type of studio lighting that you're using. So today I'm gonna be comparing the two so you can kind of see if a ring light is good enough for you or if you like what I'm going to be going over today, which is the LED barn door light. <laughs> it takes up like the whole frame. <laughs> oh man, so obviously it's a box in a box, but this thing is huge. Like I cannot stress enough like how big. And I feel stupid now thinking that this could even fit in our lockers. I did not expect it to be this big of a package, but we're gonna kind of go with it. And I'm gonna go ahead and open this really quickly so the frame and the angle is not so bad. At least it's clear, right? You have a clear picture. It's already better than my last unboxing video. Okay, still bigger than I thought it would be. This is a lot easier to handle though. This I can do. I'm gonna sit in the same exact place as the, the video that I need to redeem myself from. And I actually forgot that was unboxing the tripod that I'm actually using right now too. Curious to see how big the product is. Okay. More boxes and boxes. Okay, this makes no sense, but whatever. Wait a second. It's two of them? Oh 
my gosh, I didn't even know I, I, it came with two. I thought it was just the one. Well, no wonder it was so expensive. <laughs> Sweet, I was sitting here thinking I was just paying for one. Okay, so I'm just gonna unbox one of these because clearly I don't need to do two. Actually, I am gonna unbox both because I think it might be nice to kind of see since they're in a bundle if you wanna order it. I have the link in the description below if you wanna end up buying these. Let's see here. Okay, so here's the main panel. I thought I might have to install these, but they're already on there for you. So it's literally just open them up however you'd like. So you can easily shift it if you want to close it up a little bit, what, however you want to rearrange the lighting. Super nifty, easy. It has a fancy little control panel on the back. So have your power and all of that good stuff. It has levels on the back as well. It has an area for dimmer. You can get a numerical level, which I actually really like because the dimmer on this is just a knob. So it's like you can't get super consistent with where it is. This is really straightforward because it just plugs in. Without further ado, I'm gonna have this thing put together on the tripod. It's pretty simplistic. Yeah, it's just a normal tripod that I'm struggling to get down at the moment. Okay, simple enough, have a... And then you just have the cord, and this plugs directly into the back of the light, which is nice. It is a little on the bulky side for the cords. It's a really long cord. I can already tell without unraveling it. But she gonna do, she gonna do it. She gonna do it for me. Awesome. Simple enough, honestly, I think I'm gonna leave this wrapped up because this is a lot of cord. I don't know if you guys can really see that very well, but this is a lot of cord. <laughs> so I don't really need that in my 630 square foot apartment at all. Slide it in on the back side of it, I'm assuming, I'm not reading the instructions, but it does fit, so awesome. And then all you have to do is just take this little cap off, and then screw this on like so. And then you tighten this so you're able to angle this down in any way you want. Okay, we're gonna plug this baby in and see what she got. So I'm going to demonstrate first what it looks like with it on so you guys can kind of see the dimming effect a little bit and the colors. And then I will go ahead and set it up behind the camera and shine it on me. So here is the panel that it came with, the orange, and all you do is you pull it through on the side right here. Okay, so all you have to do is you just pull the filter out, easy enough. Right? Put it in the shade that you want to try, pop it in. This is a lot easier installation than I was expecting. Here we are, right here. This is with a setting at 10 on the dimmer. I'm gonna see how high it can go. Oh wow. So it goes up to 99. This is 99. I know in the camera it's probably <laughs> not super helpful to see it that way, but it only goes down to 10. So it's a range from 10 to 99. So again, it's nighttime purposely. I don't want it to be bright in here, but you can see I'm using the orange filter on the ring light, just like what this guy is doing right now. So I'm going to first compare this by itself with the orange and then do a side-by-side -side comparison with that one. Okay, so this is with the new light I just unboxed, the barn door. So. I don't know if you guys can tell a difference, but I'm gonna throw a picture up right here where you can see the ring light on the left and then with the barn door light on the right. Now I'm going to change my ring light to the white filter and then that way we can compare the one barn door light with the white filter as well. So these are not exactly the same, but pretty close. The next time you see me, it'll be the ring light, which will be in three, two, one, Oh, okay, so 
This is with the ring light. This is the more transparent filter that it came with. So now I'm going to go ahead and you get a general idea of this. I'm going to put this filter in the barn door light so you guys can then see the difference between these two light settings. This is the barn door lighting. And one thing I want to kind of experiment with this that I haven't done yet is I've left all the flaps kind of open and angled out as far as they can go. I can tell with this filter a little bit more that the lighting seems to, it's darker on the sides compared to the selfie ring. But I'm going to try to just bring in the side flaps to be more angled in and see how much of a difference it makes. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can tell a difference or not but I did bring in the side ones and so now what I want to do is I want to bring in the top ones and do the same thing to where they're a little more level with the light that way it's focused directly on me okay so I did that again don't know if you guys notice a difference or not and like the first time here are the two pictures this has the, the selfie ring light on the left and then also the barn door light on the right so last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and set up the other barn door light and then have both of them on the clear filter or the iridescent filter, whatever. I don't know. I don't know these things. But the next time you see me, it'll have both barn door lights out with the white setting. And three, two, one. Oh, okay. I have both of them on at full 99. I have to say, I feel like I'm in a movie set right now. <laughs> the lighting is definitely really, feels a little overwhelming right now to get used to. It's, it's, it's pretty bright. Let me show you guys what I mean by it. it's pretty bright. So, <laughs> it's pretty bright. It's pretty awesome compared to that. To look at it feels like I'm in a studio like no joke I don't know what you guys think but I actually really like these I feel like it really lightens up the space I'm going to put the orange filters on both just to see because I know that was more my favorite and preference for the ring light and just like that we've changed the mood we're in a little more of a romantic mood right now so I'm gonna kind of calm but in all seriousness I enjoy these lights a lot more they do really well in this space this is with the orange filters on both of them I'm not sure actually if I like these better than the white filters or the clear filters I feel like the light it's definitely easier to see which is always nice I think it depends on the situation for what type of light you use and when. I'm not an expert in lighting, but I can say that I like these lights better than my selfie ring light. I feel like the selfie ring light is one of those things that's just more convenient. I will definitely still use that, not getting rid of it. I would love to hear your input and to see what you guys thought was your favorite setup. Did you like the selfie ring? Did you like the barn door lighting better? Do you like the clear filters, do you like the orange filters better? I'd love to hear your feedback. I always try to take feedback from my viewers and make my videos as great as I can. So bear with me. Don't forget to like this video. Like it if you think I redeemed myself. I really appreciate it. I think this video is way better than my other unboxing video, really all of my other unboxing videos. Smash that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it if you'd be a part of my channel. If you wanna see more content like this, let me know below. Thanks again for watching this video and supporting my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!